When energy is used, there is always a portion of the energy that is wasted by release of heat. This energy can be captured and reused by waste heat recovery systems. Waste heat recovery systems not only reduce energy consumption, but also decrease the greenhouse emission. In this presentation, we'll show the basic functions of a waste heat recovery system. All processes that use energy for work emit waste heat, such as combustion engines releasing exhaust into the atmosphere, or refrigerators warming up the room air. The rejection of heat as a byproduct is necessary according to the second law of thermodynamics. Energy naturally disperses. This implies that energy can never be converted from one form to another with 100% efficiency. The energy that is not converted is dispersed through heat, with waste heat having a higher entropy level than the energy source. From knowing that entropy is a one-way, irreversible flow, the energy is not contained and released into the environment. The function of waste heat recovery system is to convert this loss of energy into a form which can be used as additional energy. First, let's talk about heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are the basic components of waste heat recovery systems. Their purpose is to transfer heat from one fluid to another without having direct contact. The hot fluid flows through a tube that is bent inside a shell where cool fluid flows through. It is essential that the two fluids do not mix. When a tube with hot fluids makes contact with the cool fluid, heat from the hotter body flows to the cooler body. Therefore, conduction occurs, and the cooler fluid becomes hotter, and the hotter fluid becomes cooler. The fluid that has lost heat is released, and the fluid that has gained heat carries the heat back to its source of energy. In power plants and engines, the hot fluid mostly consists of exhaust gas that contains heat. To reuse the waste heat in the exhaust gas, heat exchangers are put at tailpipes or smokestacks. Exhaust gas passes through the copper fins that have water flowing through. The water carries the heat back to the plant, and the heat is recycled by being used to heat up cold gases entering the engine or furnace. Now let's talk about power generators. For the heat to be completely reused as additional energy, it has to produce energy through a generator. The most common method is the Rankin cycle. In the first stage, water is pumped from the condenser to the evaporator. The waste heat captured by the heat exchanger transfers its heat into the water, the colder body. When enough energy is added, water's state of matter changes from liquid to gas as it is heated beyond the boiling point. The water evaporates into steam. The steam's high pressure allows it to expand through the turbine, generating electricity. The steam is then cycled back into the condenser to be changed back to water. There are many energy intensive processes out there that we could use the waste heat recovery system. Examples of these technologies are glass or cement manufacturers, water recovery in homes, businesses, and various heat recovery plants throughout Saskatchewan, such as the Shad plants. When water goes down the drain, valuable heat, heat energy follows it. With the power of heat recovery, the hot water can be recovered and used again. When hot water is used, the drain water travels and is heated through. Once in the drain, the warm water hits the copper lining of the drain. This lining then transfers the heat energy from the drain water back into the water currently in the hot water tank for the process to begin again. This process helps to cut down on heat greatly and is a relatively easy technology to install and maintain. This method of heat waste recovery is commonly used in housing and businesses alike. Most power generation systems utilize this technology to increase their energy production efficiency. A prime example is that of the Shad Power Station found in Estevan, Saskatchewan. Shad uses various different types of heat recovery units to help aid in the production and reduction of harmful greenhouse gases. At Shad, recuperators, regenerators, heat pipe exchangers, thermal wheels, economizers, heat pumps, and runaround coils are all used in heat recovery at power plants. With these technologies, plants like Shad are able to run more efficiently and reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. 